Yo, what's up guys? Bridges and Micah here. And quickly, I'll just be showing you how you could sidechain your kick and your bees in FL Studio. Basically, why you need to sidechain your kick and bees is so that you create space in the low end without those sounds clashing. Like if you look at your kick and your bees, they both have low ends. And if those sounds are not tamed, like if they're not controlled, it's gonna be blasting on your speakers and causing some distortion. So basically what um, sidechain compression does is that you, you sidechain your kick and your bass so in such a way that by the time your kick hits, your bass docks down. So whenever your kick hits, your bass goes down a little bit, creating space for the kick to punch. So whenever the kick is hitting, the bass goes down. So it's very easy in FL Studio and for that I'll be using Fruity Limiter. So I did have something laid already, just play that and do it quickly and show you guys how you could do that. So let me just add my name, my snare to this. Just add my snare. I just have. Let's just get that. So let me just add my kick next. So we just give our kick um, a normal four count. Four step. So. Yeah, so I have a groove laid down already. I just want to add my bees now to it. So I just create a bass line. So let's call this our bass line. And um, let's just put that there. And we have our 8 to 8. So, um, so we just find the key of the sample first of all. You know, you need to find the key of the sample you are in. Okay. So um, let's get that. So I found it to be um, G sharp, G sharp. So I just lay my bass line. So let's get that. Let's get that. Sorry, just got a... So I just lay something basic. Then so just play the bass and um, the percussions, all the percussions. So basically, you could hear that once the kick, once the bass is hitting, you can't hear the kick. So I'm, I want the kick to punch out as it plays. So quickly, the way you do that, this is my bass, this is my kick. So 
I come to my kick. Then I go under my beats. I right click here and put side chain to this track. So once it's side chain, on my beats insert, I come and insert them the fruity limiter. So for the fruity limiter, I come under the compression section of it. Where it's written side chain here, I just right click and if you've done it right, you see the title of that kick insert here, which is kick five. I select it. Then I just bring down my threshold and work on my ratio in such a way that I can feel the kick when it hits. So if you look at it now, okay, so let's increase the velocity of our kick there so that Once the kick hits, you see that the meter here docks down. You see, once the kick is not playing, it's reaching the top here, but once the kick comes, it docks down. So basically, that's just the way you sidechain your sounds. You could use it for different sounds, any conflicting sounds you want it to dock down. That's just the way you do it. And so easy in FL Studio, you just use the fruity limiter, work on your threshold, your ratio and your release. Most times I don't even touch the attack, just the release, I just blend the release so that it fits with the tempo of the song. So I can hear my kick punching through every step. So basically, that's how easy it is to sidechain your kick to your bass. If you have any question, you just let me know. Thank you for watching this tutorial and we out.